Hey guys, Alex Koloskov is here from Fortitude.com. Let me show you the best possible way to, well, to impress yourself, to impress uh, friends, to uh, shoot still life image, really cool one, if, uh, even if you don't have much skills. Uh, but you want to try and uh, you want to kind of um, get nice emotions from cool result. So let me show you, it's super easy, okay? You need three glasses, or two, or one, but three is better. Three glasses, different shape, uh, which you place on clear, either plastic glass, it can be glass, it can be mirror, it can be, for example, if you want uh, black, like a plastic glass, but you have only mineral glass, get a piece of mineral glass, paint it with airbrush paint, uh, you know, just aerosol uh, from one side and it will be glossy, clear, nice uh, black from other side. You place it on a table, whatever you have, and uh, then you fill it with liquid, okay? Make sure the composition is nice. It's up to you how you put the water. I like it this way. Then what you do, you place some white translucent uh, diffuser behind. It can be uh, anything. I will do my own thing, okay? This is a diffuser. You can get, if you do photography, you probably have something like this, right? Like I met you, uh, uh, sorry, West Scott uh, diffuser. You can place it uh, same way. I want to just uh, double buff it. And then what you do, you place a light behind it. Okay, just the one light source. It can be strip box, it can be a spotlight, it can be your uh, speed light, whatever. It can be just a tabletop lamp in a dark studio. You put it behind, okay? Of course, you turn it on. Then you see that through the camera, it should be in the middle, okay? That's what you do. You put it in the middle of your composition. You set your camera accordingly and you shoot accordingly to the exposure. You set exposure, I shoot with strobe, so it's uh, one to hundred of a second. F14, manual focus and manual exposure. This is what you got. Easy, simple, one click, and it's already interesting result in terms of still life photography, right? Tabletop photography. If you can uh, go a little bit further, you can do color. You can add color to, the, uh, to your liquid. Let's try to do it. We'll see how it will work. Uh, to do maybe a little bit over here. Okay, this is food coloring. Uh, that's what I uh, add in, what I'm adding here. Just a food coloring that you can buy on any store. Okay, a little bit of food coloring. Now uh, let's do a shot. Setup time, five minutes. The result is there. Of course, you can combine it, you can move uh, whatever you want, the way that you want, and it will look cool. Post it on the Facebook, it will get, uh, catch attention. Add some uh, red color to it, and it will catch attention, okay? So you see how it is simple. Five minutes lighting setup, just one light source, any light, and you get pretty cool shot that you will like it, you will enjoy it, Post on social media, people will enjoy it. Instagram, wow, this is something that it will really go well. Add more colors and it will be even more variety of these shots. One light source, one click of your camera, and it's easy, easy like this. This is what we do on Studio Basics program, interactive program, educational program on 40G for uh, people, for photographers who start in studio photography. Uh, challenges, assignments, tutorials, join us see what we do, maybe uh, you will like to learn and maybe you like me or other instructor to provide you feedback on your shots, on your own shots that you submit for the challenge. Okay, it was Alex Koloskov from 40 and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. More tutorials coming soon.